the PSVR one was good for its time but had its limitations. And believe me, I owned one and one of the biggest limitations was its controllers. And although perfectly serviceable, I know that it's not the optimal way to play games like this, as them controllers just were not built for this sort of thing. But thankfully, Fract is now available on PC, the Vive and the Vive Store, including Vive Infinity, which I have actually played. But this time around, I'm playing it on the MetaQuest 3. And thankfully, the MetaQuest 3 are all better for it. So there's only one thing left to do, hit them like and subscribe buttons and arm yourself as we get fracked. The game starts off with you waiting to be rescued off some snowy mountain and the realisation that when your rescuer turns up and she can't pick you up because of dangerous conditions, of course. So then it's up to you to ski down the mountain, bump into a load of alien scum who are trying to take over or destroy the world, and then of course you're roped into helping save the planet. Why not? You do live on it after all. Fract is an FPS with some nice features thrown in. Alongside all your normal shooting and moving around, there's a kind of unique cover system where you grab with your left hand and then you can kind of like move yourself around covering yourself. There's also a climbing mechanic, as I mentioned before, you get to ski, which was pretty cool because the beginning kind of made it feel more like a James Bond start of a movie. Bond. James Bond. Although later levels you get to shoot the alien scum and also topple buildings by exploding these tankers that are next to them. It did take me a little bit to get used to using my head to kind of like control where you're actually turning, but in the end it all worked out quite well. Oh, and there's barrels you can shoot as well. Well, it is a shooter. The controls, although I felt like they hadn't been updated, were actually quite good. I know obviously some naysayers are going to say they're not as good as they should be, and they're probably not. And I did feel that compared to some modern shooters, they were a little bit lacking in something. But all in all, I thought they were pretty decent and worked quite well. I suppose one of the only gripes I may have is the lack of weapons, there aren't very many in the game. And unfortunately this kind of applies to the enemies as well, as I think I only saw about three enemies during the whole gameplay. And talking about enemies, don't be an enemy to the channel, please hit that like and subscribe, and become a Switchhead's friend. Fact plays out in missions, you're basically going from one area to the other, but within those areas you have different things to do. But it is a little bit linear. Although the skiing areas and the fact that you have banter with the helicopter driver and with yourself kind of helps any burnout that comes now and again. Graphically, I thought it was rather nice, especially on the MetaQuest 3. Is it cell shaded or is that something different? Leave that one down in the comments if you know. And I also found the sound very crisp and the soundtrack was very dynamic. It kind of like changed as the action went in and out. Attempting an act of sabotage, aiming to destroy the entire mining operation. And so, like and subscribe as we get into the score now. So, Fract is actually a fun game. It's rather short, about five, six hours, I would say, depending on your skill level. It does have some limitations, but it also has some nice touches like the climbing and the zip wires and the ability to control a crane. I won't lie here, but I have played better, but I have also played far worse. And considering that this game has been out a good few years, that's actually quite impressive. I have enjoyed my time within Fract. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10. I couldn't decide 7 or 8, so I'm going to split the difference. 